Now, ah, welcome back to Everyday Rays. Just got done with the swap, 2.5 liter. Put it in. So far, I've driven 3.33 miles. I reset the odometer, uh, MPG, and everything else. So, in this video, I'm just gonna do uh, performance runs. I'm, I'm just gonna do three runs, 40 to 60. Uh, and uh, probably a month or two later, I'll do the MPG comparison. Uh, but so far from driving the truck 3.33 miles, uh, I don't know, it, it has a lot more power, uh, I mean it's actually pleasure to drive in traffic, it seems like uh, uh, what 2.3 liter was lacking, this one makes up for it. I haven't taken it over 3000 RPM yet, so, but <laughs> I'm going to do it now. And uh, we'll see what happens. So let me go ahead and switch to the to the track recorder. Boom! And I'm gonna switch to that camera, and let's go make three runs and uh, see what the improvements. Uh, see how much more power this 2.5 liter has over uh, 2.3. Alright, and we are live. Uh, I put new uh, stage 2 clutch in it, so uh, I'm being very... I'm going to take it easy on the clutch. It's still uh, chattering a little bit. But the pedal is actually uh, quite a bit stiffer than the stock clutch was. And uh, I was surprised because the clutch cover itself uh, looked very similar to the clutch that came out of uh, this engine and the clutch pedal was very light. Uh, I haven't uploaded the video about the clutch but I will probably in the next couple days maybe even tonight. So uh, yeah. I'm kind of excited to see I will do. So let's get this truck ahead of me. Yeah, the I, I really, clutch is really grabby so far. So uh, hopefully it'll last for a while. And as you can see, I'm in third gear. I'm not even switching. And, uh, I'm barely giving it any throttle whatsoever. So I'm worried about that truck ahead of us. Alright, so let's get to 35 miles an hour. And see what happens. Alright, where's the drink cover? There it is. Ready, set, go. And as you can see, 5.7 seconds. Third gear, same tires, same everything except for uh, 0.2 liters more. I mean, the it, it's something else. Let's 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 do it again, cause I uh, I just want to make sure it's not uh, it's not a <laughs> it's not a mistake, but it seems a little bit too quick for uh, compared to the 2.3 liter. So let's go in the circle and uh, see what happens. Number two. Of 
so good, nothing broke. And we're actually, we're actually getting better gas mileage. <laughs> 29.7. So more power and better MPG, I mean, uh, can't really beat that, but, you know, let's see what happens. So far it was 5.7 seconds, 40 to 60 miles an hour. Big difference <laughs> from a 2.3 liter. So let's, uh, let's try it again. Um, and the intake temperature is 107 degrees, so the conditions are... Alright, there it is. Ready, set, go. Ah, uh, 5.5 seconds. Huge difference. I mean, the truck. The truck pulls like it's got... Wow. Like it's got double the power. Well, not double the power, but it's got quite a bit more power. And uh, you can cruise, I'm cruising at uh, 60, 60 miles an hour, and you can see the throttle at 25.1%, and all the way off is 18.8. So, it's a uh, huge difference. I, I didn't expect it to be that big of a difference. I expect it to maybe shave a second or two seconds uh, off the times, but man, dropped the engine in a few hours ago, and uh, already ripping on it. Put fresh oil in it, cash stole 10 w 30 put uh, new NGK spark plugs, rear main seal, Valve cover gasket, oil pan gasket. Let's see what else. Uh, new timing belt. I did not replace the tensioner. It looked fairly new. So, uh, yeah, the truck was pretty good. And I think in the previous video, the Taking off here with the 2.3 was just like it just spun the tire. That's crazy. Same truck, same weight, full tank of gas. My tools are in the back. 3,900 pounds, and uh, it's. Uh, Drives pretty good. So let's uh, let's get past number three. I, I don't think the 5.7 seconds was a fluke. Uh, it went quicker, 5.5 seconds. Uh, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm, <laughs> I, I did not expect it to tell you uh, honestly. So uh, the truck is finally going to be ready. Uh, to do a bunch of other tests. Uh, I've got the camper shell, no camper shell test that I was thinking about doing. See exactly uh, how, uh, what the difference in MPG due to better aerodynamics. Then I got 31 inch tires that I put on the 2.3 liter, but the truck, I mean, it was, uh, it wouldn't hold 60 miles an hour on the highway in fifth gear. Every time there was an uphill, uh, it, it was just horrendous. There was no point uh, in making a video. Uh, I did a few tests on MPG on my other route. And uh, the 31 inch tires actually got the same miles per gallon as the smaller tires, which I was uh, not expecting. But that was on a pretty much flat land uh, doing like 50 miles an hour, so that was. Uh, I'm gonna do a test that's gonna be a lot more miles, a lot more highway miles, and see what happens. 
then the radiator fan, the electric fan is going to go in this truck, and I'm going to do a test to find out if uh, I can improve MPG. There's uh, there, there are plenty of other things that I, I'm not going to mention right now, but uh, uh, I'm going to try to get them done. So, so far, this 2.5 liter swab was the best thing ever. Look, the MPG is holding uh, at 30.5, which for a 2.3 liter, uh, I think it was 28.8, but that was over a uh, thousand miles of highway, city, whatever. So, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, from my memory, do, doing this route with the 2.3 liter, I think I averaged like 28, 0.8 miles per gallon. Uh, so I'll, t I'll take two more uh, miles per gallon difference uh, uh, and more power. You can't really, not really, uh, I'm not complaining about that. I just, I didn't expect this from the 2.5 liter at all. So, come on, green light, green light. Pass number three. Clutch is still grabby. But it's holding up just fine. Alright, pass number three. Once again, third gear, 35 miles an hour. I'm gonna punch it uh, at the last drain cover. So let's check it out. All right, 35 miles an hour. Drain cover, ready, set, go. I mean, it's so consistent. The 2.3 liter was not very consistent at all. What I didn't mention in the in the first video when I was doing the same comparisons is that it took me like two, three days uh, to do that test. Uh, first day, it was just the truck was just running bad, and the times were like in the 12 second zone. And then uh, the one that I posted, uh, I believe, what was it, 10.8, uh, 10.7, 10 10.3 seconds. That was the quickest times I've gotten. It was the best day, uh, the coolest day, and uh, the times were still inconsistent. The truck started to slow down after, uh, on the second pass it slowed down, and the uh, third pass it slowed down, and this thing, this thing's just... Uh, very consistent. It, 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 it feels like a much, much bigger engine. And these people are going to think I'm crazy. I keep driving back and forth here. So, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, very, very happy. As long as the engine, engine doesn't blow up in the next, like, thousand miles shouldn't it looked pretty good but you never know for now I'm gonna I'm gonna go do some errands put some miles on the engine and uh, see how it does I want to break in the clutch uh, to see if this clutch was worth the money stage two uh, so far it's doing pretty good. Master cylinder is not doing great. It's not like in the new clutch. So uh, I think I'm going to be replacing master cylinder. It's, uh, it's, uh, 
uh, it's on its way out. So, anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit, hit a like button. If not, make a comment, a suggestion, what else you would like to see. And on that note, have a good day.